Hello guys, um, today is a very special video, um, today, um, before we get started, I just want to say I'm back from camp, and it was pretty cool, and if you guys didn't see my Planner Cheese Balls video, do that, it's, an, it's, it's, I'm glad that they came back, so, um, today I'm going to be talking about something that I thought died a long time ago, but, Right, it today's freaking blockbuster, man. Like, um, so, like, m like many other people, I did not know that they still existed because, like, yeah, I thought that Netflix has completely taken all video source, but there's just there's some video source companies. I think it's like Family Video and Blockbuster Video that they still have locations left, which I'm very surprised by that, mainly by Blockbuster. Family video I can't understand because that's kind of like a newer thing, but like Blockbuster, I'm surprised that's still alive because like so I I was kinda of bummed about it because like I I think I've been to a Blockbuster store like once and I don't remember it at all. The only thing I remember is they were closing and they were I think it was like in like Columbia or something in Missouri, and I, we were on our, I, I don't think I went, actually went in the Blockbuster, but I remember seeing the blue and yellow sign, and I'm like, Mommy, what is that? And she's like, and my mom's like, uh, that's a Blockbuster, and I think she was surprised at the time that they still existed, because I was in like 2013, that was like three years after they did the bankrupt, or they filed for bankruptcy, and... I'm surprised that's still alive, to be honest, because I, I'm i in the minority. I hate Netflix. They just don't have anything that I want to watch, and I just think it's too convenient, and I hate the whole Netflix and chill thing, but that's just for another video, but, like, like it's just so weird that this one's the only one left, and Bend, Oregon, I think that's where it is. Let me see. Uh... 3 a.m. today. Bend, Oregon, yeah. I'm gonna go a different one. This one's kind of buggy. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, like, I'm surprised. I bet a lot of people or other people were surprised that they still existed because they. I can't believe they still exist. I mean, like, that's crazy. I mean, that's crazy. Let me watch this video. Hopefully an ad won't show. Dang it, come on. Can I help you, ma'am? I guess I got it. Hurts now. All right. Sometimes I'm... Alright, this is stupid. I'm going back. Alright. This is the last blockbuster in the U.S. This was in... I actually learned about this, like, a few days ago, right? This was during camp. The Camp Barnabas. If you guys go haven't gone to that, you should do that. It's like for like autistic things. Never mind. Um, yeah. So this blockbuster, there's officially only one blockbuster left. That's crazy. Sorry, asking, well, what are you guys doing different? I was like, well, you know what? It's really not. We're still doing the same thing we were doing ten years ago, and we're still just giving great customer service and having the movies and just doing so our thing. Cool. And so having a lot of great local support, um, tourist town. So we got a lot of people coming in and stopping and being so excited to see our first our sign and then the open sign, and then they're like, oh my gosh, there's a blockbuster and you're still here. How are you still here? And those conversations that we have on a daily basis. Yeah, I can understand. Oh my gosh, I didn't know the Alaska ones were frozen. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, because it's like Netflix is sticking over it. Yeah, I hate that. I like physical DVDs way better. It just has a lot of nostalgia with even young kids coming in here. The neighborhood and, the, and just Bend itself has a lot of retired people, so they don't like to do the whole streaming thing. It's very old fashioned. That makes sense. So it's a lot easier for people to come here. I really want to go there. Even though it's like a, a 24 hour drive. I would have to travel to Oregon. 
And I should have gone to Blockbuster in Alaska because I actually went to Anchorage, Alaska two years ago. And I did not remember that. I did not rem I just, I just hate. I just wish I could go back in time and tell myself that there is a Blockbuster. My previous self, that there is a Blockbuster right there. Go to it. And I did not. Regret that so much. I didn't know what it was at the time. Well, I, I think I knew what it was. It's just I wasn't obsessed with it. It's just crazy. Why? Why did I not go to it? I mean, like, why? Why is Alaska closing here? I thought their internet was expensive. So those people just go to Blockbuster. Let me see. Uh. Yeah. The bar road. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna reopen on Tuesday, but it's gonna sell off its inventory until the end of August. Okay, but Alaska's farther away. Like, how am I supposed to do that? It's sad to say goodbye to our dedicated customers. It's so sad. It says we have no plans on closing anytime soon. That's good. Yeah, I mean, like, I just wish that, I wish that, um, the, like, the whole internet streaming thing didn't work. Well, like, I like watching movies, but, like, I don't like how we just have to click on Netflix and stuff. I hate Netflix. It's so weird. I'm not used to it. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Um, yeah, like, it's so weird. I mean, like, <laughs> Just like Blockbuster, like, why? Maybe they could keep it with, like, a tourist attraction, but I don't think that would happen. Maybe if this net, well, I heard that net neutrality, it hasn't done anything yet. Like, it, I, I since they uh, repealed the, the rules of net neutrality in June, nothing has changed. Like, everyone was thinking that they would, you would have to pay for stuff and stuff. But, Nothing has nothing happened so far, and it's been like a month, and nothing has happened. So maybe there we may maybe we were like we were like over scared. We were too scared on the whole net neutrality thing. Okay, never mind. But like nine thousand stores. That's crazy. Oh, I just hate that. Yeah, so, if any of you guys lived in Bend, Oregon, and you didn't know about that Blockbuster, go to it. You you, you only have that chance, because I don't know how long they're even going to be open, because, like, I, I, I hope it's going to be open until I, because I think, like, Begging my mom and dad to send me there. It seems kind of ridiculous, but we could, me and my dad could go there. But I'm already going to Disney World. This might sound a little bit spoiled, but I am spoiled. At least I know that I'm spoiled. Um, I'm already going to Disney World uh, in October. I think that's when it, we're going. But I just want to go Blockbuster because, like, literally, like, it's like the only Blockbuster left in the U.S. It would just be so cool to go there, even though I wouldn't rent anything. It would just be so cool to go there. I mean, like, I would, I would, I don't know if, I don't know if I would spend three hundred dollars on it, but like, I've been trying to convince my mom and dad for a long time for us to go to the Blockbuster in Bend, Oregon. Even before the Alaska stores closed, I wanted to go to the one in Bend because that was the closest one to here. It's just like a day. It takes like a day to go that to drive. Now it would take a long time. Yeah, it's it would take a long time. But I don't know. I might, but I don't think I will, <laughs> because I'm ha I had my chance. If I ha if I w if I if I went to the Blockbuster in Alaska, that would have been okay. But now I'm so stupid that I did not know about it. That Blockbuster was still a thing in Alaska. I should have just told myself. I should have known about that. Alright, so if you guys like this video, um, 
Uh, give me a like and subscribe and comment. Um, this was a very special episode, a special video for me to do. I love Blockbuster. Like, it's like, it's like, I would love to go there. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'll do, I'll see you in the next video.